processes over the years at this time of camp? Do you feel like where you, you're where you need to be ahead of schedule, behind schedule? Do you have a timeline? Um, yeah, I'd say where we're where we need to be, uh, you know, we do have injuries, so that's that's the only reason you say, well, we're not there because you get three guys in the infield who aren't ready to play. So, you know, that's always going to be a little concerning. We're hopeful uh, that Josh should be ready and that Corey's going to be closing maybe not long after the season starts. Uh, it could be ready opening day, but we're not going to push him on that, trust me. So. Uh, but as far as the other guys, yeah, they're getting their bats, uh, uh, so we're we're uh, about where we need to be. Yeah, we have some work to do. We have two more weeks. Are you are you content with your starting rotation? Yeah, you are. Yeah, with Cody Bradford. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you made, given everything that's taken place over the last forty eight hours? Have you? Determine that Bradford is going to be your fifth starter right now? I, we haven't uh, decided which way uh, we're going to go there. But I think Cody showed that uh, he can start in the major leagues. Uh, I think he proved that last year. I think he also proved he can help out in the bullpen. So, um, you know, those final decisions have not been made yet. You've gotten a chance to see Cam Colley in a bunch of major league exhibitions and then watched him a little bit today in the, in the breakout game. Uh, what have you seen from what from what he's put on display? You have to love what he has been doing. And his kids just play great baseball. Um, you know, his age, uh, you know, to be swinging the bat the way he is, he has a knack of getting the barrel to the ball. He has just proven that consistently off some really good pitching. Uh, in the game today, there's some really good arms out there. And, and, you know, I saw him barrel up two, two balls, one to left center, one to right center. Uh, He's got speed. He he plays with no fear. Uh, he's still a base for you. Uh, you know, you say, well, he made a couple of errors, but you know, he is a young kid, and but you know, he can play different positions. Uh, he's an exciting player. So yeah, I've really am enjoyed getting a chance to watch him play both both with us and and watch him today. Is this about the time where pitchers have to? have that line of, okay, I've tinkered for about a month with new things that I've worked with on in the off season, and I have these two weeks now to really hone in on what I'm going to use to start the season? I'd say, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. I mean, it's time to get ready for the season. I said we're not concerned with the results in the early part of spring training, but now, you know, we want these guys to get honed in. Uh, position players, pitchers, everybody, uh, uh, it's that time. You know, we have, you know, some cuts to, you know, to make some difficult ones. But, uh, you know, these guys that are going out there, now's the time for them to, you know, show their best stuff, best uh, control, command, uh, you know, do all the little things well. And as far as our position players, same way. Uh, you know, we talked about it uh, today a little bit. So, anyway, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of tinkering going on now at this point. When you talked about the rotation with Evan, you talked about the bullpen a couple of days ago, just how you feel like that's so much further along than it was last year. Does that allow you to have a little more, I guess, um, confidence and uh, maybe leeway with that starting rotation, knowing that you feel more confident in the bullpen? Does that make sense? Yeah, it did make sense, yeah. Uh, I think without question, uh, we're in a better situation now with the bullpen. Uh, we feel like we're going to have some length there too, along with you know guys in high leverage situations. Uh, earlier today, um, you know, I watched uh, Leclerc throw. He he threw two innings today. He, he threw the ball well. Yates threw the ball very well uh, today. So these guys are coming around at the right time uh, before the season starts. Uh, Robertson, you know, he'll start cranking it up. This is kind of been, you know, his time to, you know, get ready. And he's always been a little bit of a late starter as far as getting ready, and that's that works for him. So um, so we have some really good options. Uh, you know, and like I said, we got some difficult decisions, but I think uh, no doubt uh, we're, we're better off now. You look at Johnny, how he's coming around too. He's going to give us another option if he's ready. So I, I'm excited about where we're at, you know, with this bullpen. Do you try to get to them to two 
innings, all of them out in the bullpen? Yeah, so we were inning, or at least inning plus. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we checked that box off with uh, the clerk today, and that went well. So the other day, you mentioned that if there was a fit for Duffy, it was more as a, as a reliever. So who were the other in-camp options for the fifth starter other than Bradford? Well, I I, th- I think you, you've seen a few guys uh, start and uh, uh, and, and, and get stretched out. So you know that's I, I think we're gonna you know stay open minded on uh, those guys too. Uh, Urena, I think you've seen him. Who? He, he, he's he's throwing the ball well. Coach, how important is John Gray, especially given some of the injuries to your rotation to start the year? How important? Yeah, how just him having a good year. Well, I, well you know what? They're all important. Uh, I'm not going to put down just John. Eh? Uh, he's one of our guys. So, yeah, we need him uh, to have a nice year for us. You know, I said this. Uh, you know, you win a championship, what's it take to do it again? It takes your guys to go out there and uh, and, and do what, they, uh, what they're supposed to be doing. And that's, you know, either playing well or pitching well. And uh, he's certainly one of our guys. So, um, you know, you look at this rotation, uh, uh, it's, uh, I think, a strong uh, rotation as long as guys go out there and do their thing, stay healthy. Uh, I like it. You, I was asked that the first question. Yeah, I, I think this is a rotation that will give us a chance to win on a consistent basis. That's all you can ask. His fastball looks like a good pitch. I know the velocity is impressive. The numbers on that pitch specifically have not been – Great. I know that pitches sometimes work together, and it's not fair to just look at numbers for one pitch. But what is it about his fastball that he can do to maybe improve the effectiveness of that pitch? Or do you feel Gray? like, yeah, the, just the numbers looking at that pitch? What? Uh, like the just the, the batting average against the slug against are both on the higher side. Yeah, uh, I, I think like any pitcher, it's it's consistent command, and that's that's never going to change in our game. That's where the slug comes from, mistakes. And but the, the velocity's there. Uh, he's got a big fastball. Uh, whether it's creating doubt on whether the fastball is coming, but probably more important is uh, hitting your spots with it. And um, especially in key situations, uh, that you know, th- I, I think you look at the role that he got on. Why? Why was he so good then? Command was unbelievable. He, he really. Uh, work both sides of the plate with it well and then so that's that's what works for him when he's going well. Back to your bullpen. Um, as, as you formulate who's going to be in the bullpen, are you heading into this season hoping to have defined roles? Somewhat defined. Yeah, I, I think with the guys that we have that down there, I think uh, it gives us some Flexibility uh, as far as even giving guys days off or using them in certain areas against certain pockets of the lineup. Uh, and they're high leverage guys. Uh, you've heard the comments by Robertson, for example. He doesn't care where he pitches, uh, he just wants to help get important outs. And that's that's what you need, you know, from a, a bullpen that. Uh, has three or four guys on there that have been closed, you know, they've closed before, but, you know, they, they you know, don't get concerned with when they're pitching or how we win, just a, we win a ball game. And so I think we have those guys down there. I wouldn't hesitate to close with any of them, to be honest. You know, LeClerc needs a, a break or, or Yates needs a break or Robertson needs a break. You know, these guys, uh, we have other guys that, we're comfortable using in those situations. What did you like? What did you see from John last night? Great. I thought he threw well. I, I mean, everything working. Uh, uh, good slider, uh, change, fastball used well. Uh, I thought it was a really good night's work for him. Uh, you know, pounded strike zone. I thought Johnny was on top of his game last night. That was a pretty good lineup he faced. In the few seasons that I've known him, he, he's, he's pretty hard on it. Can be pretty hard on himself, um, as far as you know, wanting to 
always wanting to do better. And I, I remember a lot of times going into an actor start and think, I, I, but my evaluation was out, look, great start, and he would kind of beat himself up. It seems like he's evolved into being, you know, more confident, not trying to be so perfect, handling situations on the mound. What, what have you seen from him growth-wise, or what did you see from him last season and into this spring training? Yeah, I didn't have him earlier. Uh, I saw a lot of Johnny when he was with uh, Colorado, but you know that comes with time. I think the the experience of dealing with uh, um, not beating yourself up, as you say, uh, because that's natural. We you know we always want to be better and and look back at what we could have done better, but. You know, in our game, if, if you keep doing that, then you're going to beat yourself up uh, over the long haul. It's a long season. So, you know, you can't let your sense of significance uh, be defined by one game or an outing and and, and, and keep approaching it that way. So uh, I, what, what I've seen from Johnny is a lot of growth. Uh, you know, he showed it last year with that great run that he had and then with the injury to go in the bullpen and handle it the way he did, uh, I, I was I was really excited, uh, you know, to see how well that worked because I I was a little worried about it because he hadn't been there and uh, it didn't seem to phase him and and last night, you know, you can look at uh, even times when he was pitching around 92 and he was pitching uh, with that very effectively and because you you're going to go out there sometimes and maybe not have your 96, 97, and, it, and that's when you got to pitch a little bit. It's you, you make 10 starts, I mean, you're lucky half of them you have your good stuff, and the other half you better figure it out. I don't know if I have that number quite right, but that's the point being, uh, you know, when you don't, then, you know, you don't beat yourself up because you're – just like hitting, you're not going to have your timing all the time. I mean, that's when you got to compete in battle. I'm going to, when you were in here yesterday, um, I walked out of here based on the way you talked about Corey. A um, little bit less convinced that he would be ready for opening day than I had been. You are? Based on the way you were talking. I, then I wasn't speaking well. I apologize. I, I'm more optimistic. You are that he'll be ready. What what's led you to be more optimistic? Ah, uh, because of yesterday, just, you know, swinging. Uh, he looked pretty good. We saw some video of it, uh, and now we actually going to ramp it up a little bit for him. Uh, starting Monday, he will see some live pitching, um, and then uh, the back end of the week, uh, you know, he'll start. You know, getting some game time. You know, it just not in the A games, right? But uh, you know, start you know getting prepped for uh, you know getting ready for the season. So you feel you would say you feel optimistic now on both Young and Seager for opening day. I am. Uh, Josh right now is scheduled to pitch those two exhibition games. I mean, ke- I mean play those uh, two games, and uh, you know, with that bats that he's getting now, live uh, off of live pitching, yeah, he should be ready. Uh, we've ramped up his ground balls, and uh, early part of next week he'll be doing stuff with the team, so he'll be around more, and then. Uh, you know, with Corey, with the progress he's made, uh, it's just getting better and better with him. So when you say scheduled to play those two games, you're talking about the two games against Boston and right. Arlington. And he would play, like, minor league games or B games back here yeah. until yeah. until you leave? Yeah. you know how long you can backdate? Mm, I, I don't know what the day is now. I don't know that. Oh, he's swinging. I mean, he's he's not holding back anything. I'm talking about JJ, he's letting it go, and he's doing well with the ground ball stuff. And so we'll get through this weekend. Uh, he'll he'll be spending more time with the club now. 
So if Corey starts taking live BP next week, he gets in the equivalent of 20 at bats over the course of the week, 25 real at bats over the course of the week. That, in your mind, based on what your experience with his him is last year, that enough to for him to be ready and in, in, in a place to produce. It's hard to say, and, and the reason I'm saying that, I mean, when, with our experience with him, we've seen how, how fast he comes back on, off an injury, okay? Same time, now, you're looking at all winter. I'm not picking up a bat. So, you know, that's it's a little bit different this time around because uh, uh, it does take time to build the strength up and everything, and that's what we'll have to uh, – you know, look at, evaluate uh, after you know, so many at bats. See where he's at. How, you know, how the bat feels. Uh, you know, it's it's got to it's got to be. Um, he's got to be in a place where it's comfortable, it's light, and and I, which I think it will be. But I'm just saying it's a little bit different now. I, I I'll go with that uh, because. It's been a few months. It's not, in other words, it's not easy. It's not apples to apples to say, okay, he came back from the from the exactly. thumb, you exactly. know, with no rehab exactly. versus this. Exactly. And uh, but I do. With that said, yeah, I think he's that's enough at bats. Yeah, as far as seeing pitches and everything, yeah. And even if he's at seventy-five or eighty percent in terms of being on time, he's still a more effective player than most players. Pretty low number you just put down there. <laughs> well, I, I'd rather be a little higher than that, but I try and. But no, I, I can't argue with that. You know, him at 75, 80 percent. But yeah, we definitely would want to hire in that though. Max is here. Um, oh, you haven't heard him. Yes. <laughs> Max, Max is in the house. Um, what is the value of you know? He talked about needing to kind of get away from this for a while because it would tend him or lend itself to maybe accelerating a little bit too quickly. What is the value, though, of having him here? Well, he's part of the team, even though I know he's you know, injured right now, but, you know, he's, he's Max. He's, you know, here's a guy that's heading to the Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, brings a lot of energy, as you know. He's he's just bounced around the you know the clubhouse, talking to everybody. Uh, uh, you know these young pitchers are getting a chance to spend time with them. Uh, he's going to be watching these guys. You know he'll have his own evaluation. He'll be talking to them. We talked about Nate how what a great job he does. But uh, Max is a he's a student of the game. He watches these guys. He knows them, and uh, so. You know, that's another set of eyes and ears uh, for these young players uh, to bounce ideas off. 